Okay, Rockstar Bingo fans, uh, Jim has been on me for the, a while to, to produce this, so here I am today. Uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, hosting Rockstar Bingo games using Zoom. Um, you know, the intent of Rockstar Bingo long term is for people to converge at bars and pubs and events and, and play the game in person and share it with their friends. But, you know, during this whole crazy time and with Christmas coming again and more for safety protocols, um, Zoom and other mediums are a good way to connect in some way uh, safely online from home or from wherever. So um, what I'm going to do is, is mostly talk about Zoom, but I thought I'd just touch on the other uh, ways that you might play Rockstar Bingo online, right? Your, your players are going to play on their smartphones. That's, that's your audience. Um, but because they're not there physically to hear the speakers in the same room that you're in, you want to push the sound to them and possibly any visuals to them um, using some medium. And so again, today we're going to talk about Zoom, but I'm just going to touch on the fact that you can do this in Microsoft Teams, and there's, we have another video for that already. Um, a downside of using Microsoft Teams is you can't just only share audio. That's something that they still haven't added to the product, but I think they should. Um, so that's an advantage that Zoom has. Um, but you know, the, the, a lot of people are, it's either Zoom or Teams or both or whatever. Um, from our perspective, play the game and, and get it in front of people. So Zoom and Microsoft Teams are great for hosting games because uh, it's more real time. You can actually interact with your audience. Um, they can be on camera and, and hanging out with you. Um, so that's great for those mediums. Also, there's no sort of like um, listening going on from those platforms to uh, shut you down, right? If you're playing 40 seconds of a song, uh, you may be violating some rights for that kind of stuff, right? And you should be, be careful of that kind of thing. Um, and so uh, Zoom Microsoft Teams will just let you carry on because you're having a meeting. You're not doing a show. Um, but uh, you might want to do this via Twitch or YouTube or Facebook. Um, and I'm just going to touch on those quick. Uh, all three of them are big platforms, easy to pull people in. Um, there's one thing you need to know about, or two things you need to know. One is if you're playing songs more than, say, 20 seconds, there's a good chance you're going to get shut down or muted uh, by those services because they're going to detect the, the music. So it might be a reason not to do it. Um, the other one is that you're streaming. You're not doing more real-time video. You're actually streaming to your audience. And at that point, there's going to be a, anywhere between a 7 to 12 second delay. Um, so what you think you're, you're they're playing uh, and seeing and hearing is going to be delayed. And so if you're ahead in the game, um, you may want to turn off the highlighted column feature that we have in, in Rockstar Bingo, which is, is something that's there for that reason, so that you, um, you can play along and they're not out of sync. Okay, so I've touched on the various topics, but today is about Zoom. So you as the Rockstar Bingo host are going to host a game like you always did. But instead of sending it to the speakers in a room, you're going to send it out through a Zoom meeting, right? So on the on the other end, you're going to encourage all your players to make sure they are showing up with their their the smartphone or the, the uh, game controller in their pocket or the purse. That's their smartphone. So everybody that's going to play will want to have that. Um, but you know, because they're sitting in a living room somewhere, you're going to want in that living room one laptop or tablet or something that's going to be showing the Zoom meeting, right? The interaction between you and the people in that room. So you will have already you know, set up your game. Um, I'll just create one here quick. We'll do All Out 80s. Um, I'm not gonna choose to go Spotify with this one just for sake of speed here. Um, and you know, while I'm on the screen, you know that we have targets. The highlight current column, that's what I'm talking about for if you were streaming. So if you're not using Zoom or Microsoft Teams, you're using Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook, you may wanna turn off the highlight column that shows which column this current song is under because there'll be a 12 second delay. Um, the uh, co-host link, by the way, this is in the Pro Edition uh, uh, only, So, uh, but that's a cool thing that you can look into. Uh, winner contact details is also in the Pro Edition only and is really valuable for people that are remote because you can actually get their phone number, name, and um, email from them when, once they've won the game so you can reach them afterwards. So it's definitely a perk of the Pro feature. So i got my game going here. I'm just going to start it, right? I'm going to communicate to people once we get going that the game code would be BJBK. So on the Zoom side, it's pretty straightforward. You're either going to schedule a Zoom call and then give out the URL for that, or you're going to create a new meeting on the fly. I'm going to do that for today's example, and I'm going to open up my Zoom meeting. So there's a couple of things here. Um, one, uh, when I go to share my screen, um, and you know I might want to share my video actually, so I'll turn that on, uh, but I'll use a camera that's not in use, so it's probably going to be the side of my head you'll see. <laughs> yeah, there I am. Um, but when you go to share your screen, um, you're going to either share your screen and at that which point I probably won't want to show the screen that actually has the game in play because that's people will be able to see what songs are coming so you may not want to do that so maybe show a different screen and show you know a, a fireplace a yule log uh, video or one advantage that you, uh, 
Spotify has is you can actually choose computer audio only. So when I share, I'm only choosing a computer audio. So um, that's something to keep in mind uh, is you could do that. You could just be on video, uh, you know, your, your video, your face <laughs> interacting with your people um, and just playing your audio. You don't have to share your screen with Zoom. So that's pretty cool. The only other thing I'd say is if you go into your audio settings, um, you may want to check out, uh, where is it? Uh, background noise suppression. So uh, depending on you know, what's going on and how it sounds, you might want to do a test. Uh, you may want to um, allow some background noise because depending on how you're sending the speaker out and whether you want your voice to overtake what people are hearing, all that kind of stuff. Um, there, uh, and then there's an advanced section here uh, where you can actually play with different uh, echo cancellation and stuff. So you, know, you might have a play in here. It's definitely some extra features, but for the most part, it's not actually needed. And then you would just uh, start the game and play it like it always did. So I hope that's helpful for all you Rockstar Bingo fans. Um, let's stay safe out there and uh, have a great day. See ya.